throughout my childhood, my favourite books were always historical novels. Always, always. I always knew that history was my favourite uh, subject at school. I did think about maybe do, applying for English with quite similar subjects. Um, but for me, history was pretty much what I was going to go for. I don't think, yeah, back then that I really anticipated that I'd spent my life as, uh, as a teacher of history. They were always my favourite uh, to read as novels, so that probably propelled a few thoughts that maybe I should be studying some more serious history. I think what distinguishes the Oxford brand, uh, if you like, is the sheer breadth of choice um, that a student of history would have. At the moment I'm studying South Africa um, within the imperial time. I took a module called Nature and Art in the Renaissance for my optional subject which was you know very history of art, history of science um, and again I'd never studied anything like that before. I was doing alchemy and you know uh, Leonardo da Vinci and science of perspective. Oxford in particular has such a large history faculty um, that you can pretty much study, study anything you want. We also have uh, uh, in the third year an undergraduate dissertation uh, which allows huge independence uh, of choice uh, and opportunity. Everyone seems to love talking about history. Um, that's not to say everyone is enjoying the work they're doing at all, but when they get onto a subject that they love, people are really passionate. There are great traditions of scholarship uh, at this university, uh, which we all uh, pay our respect to. Um, but it also encourages uh, a remarkable independence of, of mind. The Bodleian Library with its millions of, uh, of works uh, and uh, the latest electronic databases, um, uh, which all permit uh, cutting edge research, even at undergraduate level. Sitting in a library surrounded by all these books and all other people working, there's a nice atmosphere, really good atmosphere. And when I got bored in revision, I used to library hop. So from one beautiful library to the next with friends, have a lunch break, like, became kind of a daily routine. On the second day, actually, I remember this so well, I was given a reading list and an essay title, and that was it. And it was just n no explanation, you know, no spoon feeding. It was just, well, there's a library, there's some books, here's the title. And I think we all really felt that. And I remember everyone just saying, well, where, where do you start? What the two to say initially is that they expect you to be quite bad to begin with, which is perfectly normal. We don't expect you to suddenly be the best history student. My first tutorial, I had absolutely no idea what I was expecting. And my essay, was complete rubbish. I thought it was I thought it was fine because that was the type of essay I'd written at school. The proximity that's of tutor and student which really breeds a great deal of trust and allows both the um, the tutor and, and the student to experiment with ideas. Having access to someone who is an expert in their field on a one-on-one -on -one basis is a very good thing to have so I think it, it does take a bit of getting used to but you very quickly realise how good the system is. You become like a machine, you're pumping out these essays so quickly and I think that's something you really really learn here is that there's no faffing around, you get a title, you start reading, you write the essay, done within four days. I think personally I've become a lot more confident, a lot more able to argue my point which is what being a history student is all about. You're kind of in the middle of this historiographical debate. I'm not the first person uh, to say that I've learned a lot from my students. As I've got more confident and improved, tutorials are now really fun because it's a conversation. You're learning from, from the best. The, the tutors are always there to help you. That's what they're paid to do. And regardless of whether it's you know, a time for a tutorial or not, they're always gonna, gonna help you along with things. Um, and I think it's really important, not, not to scare people away, but to say, you know, there's a lot of work here. Everyone deals with it, but there is. I always liken it, in fact, to uh, a mountaineering exercise where you get to the top of one summit and discover more mountains beyond. And there is that this urge and desire to move on to the next range.
if you've got the grades at school, I don't really see why why you shouldn't try. Um, and for me, that was kind of how it went, is that I, I gave it a shot. We think that the interview is um, a wonderful opportunity for both the tutor and indeed the student um, to see how well the student will settle in um, to the Oxford tutorial system. I mean what, what they try to do in an interview which is um, maybe not what people are used to but they're, they're going to try and like push you further and further. After the first interview I called my mum and said well no point in me going to the next one, is there? I really, really wasn't planning on going. Everyone is nervous for many. It is their first important interview in their life, uh, and we are well aware of that. My mum said you may as well go along to your second one if you haven't got in anyway. So I did. I was so relaxed because I thought, no harm now. They didn't want you to give the right answer. They just wanted to give a answer and justify your answer so people shouldn't worry about, about whether you're right or wrong. We are looking for um, critical powers of analysis, um, uh, but in addition to that we're looking for significant historical imagination. It was so surreal. I remember getting an email um, with my offer and, and just thinking it, it didn't feel real. Take opportunities where available um, for expanding your interests beyond your coursework. Um, uh, it might be you know, sort of reading a, a relevant work, it might be visiting a particular site, um, it, it might be taking advantage of the wonderful materials that are now universally available online. You know, that would be showing the type of um, initiative and, and curiosity that uh, we we're looking for. When I was applying, I had preconceptions about how an Oxford student is, um, about how people at Oxford are, and you sort of you expect it to be, um, I think like posh is a word that people usually use, but you expect it to be a lot, a lot less open than it actually is. And when you arrive, you realise that everyone is just normal people, the tutors are normal people, and it's just a, a normal history course um, in Oxford. To get a, a degree, uh, a good degree in this university requires very uh, significant powers of, of mind and, and indeed uh, of soul. Um, you have to uh, be able to sustain yourself through three years of very intensive study. Um, it's easy to see why uh, employers uh, do look on Oxford students uh, as a, uh, students full of uh, young young men and women as full of you know, uh, initiative, uh, independence, and raw energy. When I leave Oxford, I think I'm probably with most history students in not having any idea really what what I want to do. But the good thing about doing a history degree is that you can it does open up a lot of different opportunities, and you can do a lot of stuff. I mean, you can stay on and do and be a historian and be an academic, or you can go on to lots of different sectors of the workforce. History students uh, seem to be very popular with law firms, um, uh, but also uh, in, in uh, public policy, uh, uh, public service, uh, journalism, uh, but more generally in a whole range of um, uh, professions uh, ranging from, uh, we, we've had the, uh, former uh, students become policemen um, uh, and also into the armed forces and, and into advertising. Um, uh, there's a huge range um, and some have decided to go off and make a lot of money in the city as well. Uh, I was lucky uh, to be in the, in the position uh, when I was 16, 17, that I had a history teacher who did say, give it a go, um, there's nothing to lose, and he was, he was right. <laughs>